speaking of the state, let's take a look at the state policing bill, which we now know has passed its first reading. According to reports, the House of Representatives made progress in its bid to establish state policing on Tuesday by passing a bill on the matter for first reading. Now, the Constitution Amendment Bill seeks to amend the 1999 Constitution by decentralizing the Nigerian police force to accommodate state police. The bill is sponsored by the leader of the House, Mr. Femi Bajabia Miller, and having passed the first reading, the House following established procedure will set another date for the opening of debates on the general principles and the second reading of the bill. The truth is, most likely, this is going to see the light of day because those who, you know, are integral to ensuring that we see it succeed are aligned in their thoughts. I recall that the governor of Zafar, Abdulaziz Yari, a few weeks ago, said that nobody should address him as um, chief security officer, that he doesn't control the, you know, the security architecture of the state, and that is why he's helpless. Let's look at different states. Look at Benue State, where people have been, you know, killed in their numbers, murdered in cold blood. The governor even at one time said that people should go back and fight with sticks and stones like David did against Goliath. Mm. You go to Taraba and go to Just Plateau. What is happening now? The truth is, sometimes when you look at issues, it would appear like, you know, the forces will align to favor the Nigerian people. The Nigerian police force has been in existence since 1930. And if we're going to be honest, 88 years of the existence of the Nigerian police force, it appears like we will take one step forward and two million steps backwards. Now, what we must do is try as much as we can to look at the issues, look at all of the attendant problems that would, you know, most likely um, you know, try to stall the success or progress of this and deal with all of them. People have complained that what are we going to see if we have governors who control the police in whatever state they are, and these people might become like King Pharaoh and try as much as they can to deal with their political opponents. Yeah. But the truth is, if we put laws in place, and if we are a society where, like we say, everyone is subject to the rule of law, then people would not take advantage of it. People have also argued that, for example, if you have a police officer that is resident in Lagos mm. and says that, I see Lagos as, you know, what belongs to me, as where I am from, I'm going to do my best to see that there's security, it would enhance healthy competition between these various, uh, you know, state policies. But, but the truth be... is, mm. we have a difficult situation. You have governors that cannot pay salaries. That's what I was about to some say. Governors are not even, some governors are not even ashamed. Yeah. Uh, they are not even ashamed. They are owing months in salaries. When you mention nine months, they'll say, no, I'm not owing nine months. I'm only owing seven months. You are you a woman being? You are not owing nine months. You're only owing seven months. So we should pop champagne for so you what now. Do we, where, do we, where do we see this? Because we have a situation where, of course, 14 states cannot survive on internally generated revenue. But that figure must have increased by now. Yeah. Because this is what we're looking at. is like six months old. Oh, it's true. See, the truth is, the people of Nigeria must begin to participate in the process. Why do I say this? The executive governor, you see him with his siren blending. Blah, boom, blah, boom, blah, boom. He has security. DSS, um, Nigeria Police Force... Soldiers, uh, Air Force, Navy, some of them might even be carrying Babalawo mm -hmm. up and down. The truth is, as Nigerians, what we must do is begin to demand that, aside from the fact that we are shortchanged in the sense that you have one policeman to like one million people in this country, because we don't even know the number of police officers we have in this country. So people will tell you that it is around 330 to 380. It is it not a shame Such that a shame. even the Police Service Commission will tell us that it is around what is around? If in banks, in commercial banks, I am very certain that. If they, if they pay you one naira that you're not supposed to earn at the end of the month, they will deduct it from you. We see all this our banks now. They cannot give you money by mistake. But we have a federal organization or institution that we don't even know the exact number of people that are in this, in this I'm organization. Actually, I'm really excited that we're going to be speaking with someone who chronicles the lives and the challenges of Nigerians living in the diaspora. Here we've agreed already, like Chukudi said, that it's quite a challenge living in Nigeria for now. But we're hoping that things change in 2019. But beyond hoping, you have a part to play. You need to get your PVC and vote for the right candidates, regardless of religion, tribal affiliations, or what have you. Vote with your instincts. Ask questions. Ask, demand answers. These people you will put in power, these people will represent you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.